Let's break down the first major MW3 Season 3 event for the Godzilla Kong New Empire movie, which includes four new operators, an $80 melee weapon, free rewards, and much more. We'll break it all down in today's video. Be sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, and shout out to U4GM if you need cheap cop points, rare unlock codes, I'm Max, Mastery Camos, and much more. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Use code MAP for an extra 5% off. Links are down below. But first off, you're in the background, you're seeing the official trailer for this new Godzilla Kong event. And a look at a bunch of the new operator skins we're getting as well. Some of the new weapon blueprints the really sick tracers the cool finishing moves as well uh, the operators as we'll talk about in this video are honestly pretty fire it's unfortunate you have to pay for a lot of them but still regardless they're cool operators for sure you're gonna see some stuff in the background but first up though what is the actual event all about is it a challenge event an xp progression event they said this year in the official blog post a couple days ago event godzilla kong battle for hollow earth launch april 3rd right when season 3 goes live next week to april 10th so a week long there a small event discover the mysterious power of the monster versus mightiest titans earn xp to unlock exceptional rewards equip the godzilla kong shimu or scar king operator skins for a boost so just an xp progression event seems like which kind of is unfortunate i feel like this would have been deserving of a much bigger wide scale event we saw this back in the caldera days during vanguard where we didn't have actual challenges to do i'm pretty sure like we do in mw3 and the event rewards and stuff but we did have a lot of stuff a huge ltm in warzone where you had godzilla king kong walking around destroying enemies and we, we could uh, fight them in some type of way it wasn't as cool as we thought it would be i remember people thought it would be the craziest event ever and they were a bit underwhelmed but still regardless it was a sick event the, the ltm was a time remember having a lot of fun playing the ltm so unfortunately that scale of an event isn't returning this time around which again kind of sucks there hopefully they do bring back something like that in the future maybe if these bundles sell well they'll actually go even further and do something similar to what we saw back during vanguard again so we'll see very soon but regardless still a cool little event here week-long xp progression event not a big deal but the actual operator skins themselves they are pretty fire as i said so the first one here is the trace pack godzilla kong the new empire godzilla bundle which comes with the godzilla operator skin of course two weapon blueprints a charm loading screen large decal and the feel the heat ray finishing move and you see again some of this in the actual gameplay trailer we just got today of that operator skin that feel the heat ray finishing move which is so so cool and much more so solid operator bundle there next one here of course is the new scar king bundle which comes with the ape operator skin two blueprints again a charm looting screen large decal and the whiplash unleashed finishing move pretty cool stuff there you're seeing some of that in the trailer as well next one here is the shimu bundle part of the godzilla kong new empire movie featuring the shimu operator skin two weapon blueprints again a charm flash grenade skin and effect loading screen large decal and the frostbite finish finishing move there and the final one here is a bundle out right now the new kong operator skin and again here is that new bundle now out in the store kong trace pack here comes with the main scorch operator skin which looks pretty solid here we'll preview him real quick okay cool stuff there uh we'll zoom in a little bit it's a solid skin i would say comes with the bruin mk9 titan tech rifle blueprint We'll preview this one as well. This looks pretty cool. Do a little full view here. Okay. Like the color scheme, the yellow and black. Solid stuff there. The Beast Tracers as well. Which we'll preview that. See how that's looking. I think we saw this in the trailer a little bit, but. Okay, Solid Tracers there. I mean, just like a gold yellowish look. Uh, I guess no dismemberment effect, right? Yeah, wait. Does it say dismemberment? No. Nah. Okay, so just the Beast Tracers. Not, not too bad there. SVA 545 weapon blueprint as well. Monarch Stinger, same type of color scheme there. Not bad. We got the finishing move here. Kong's Knuckles Slam, which I guess something like that. I think we saw this in the trailer as well. Solid stuff there. Large decal here. Bow to no one. Okay, weapon charm and a loading screen. So a solid bundle there. 2400 cop points. Let me down below if you'll be getting that one. Now, of course, don't be surprised that they're doing this here. Purchase all four bundles to complete the Titan collection and unlock the exclusive Beast Glove Gladiator Skin Melee Weapon. Equip any of the four bundles during the Godzilla Kong Battle for Hollow Earth event for an XP boost. As always, the King of Monsters and the King of Skull Island have returned to take their Call of Duty throne. So, of course, again, that's pretty standard. Equip the operator part of the event and get more XP towards that event. But 
This one here they've been doing recently, where if you buy all bundles in the collection, you get some extra items, some extra weapon blueprint, usually it's been, or an extra free operator skin for those existing operators. But now here, they're doing something to where if you buy all four operator bundles, which is $80 USD in total, you'll get this gladiator skin melee weapon, which you see actually a gameplay clip of it in the trailer we just got. I'll show that up on screen. It is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know, that's a lot to ask of people. I guess it is a cool reward, but $80 is a ton of money for some cosmetics in a game. I mean, if you could afford it and you really like the skins, go for it, but they should really try to not do this here. Like, this should be a free mastery reward or any type of reward you get a part of the actual XP progression event as opposed to making people spend a lot of money on the bundles and get the skin that way. So, I don't know. Let me know down below your opinions on that. They're going to continue to do it. Seems like it doesn't matter what we think about it. Let me know down below if you'll be getting all four operator bundles to specifically get this melee skin or you just like the operator overall you just want to get all of them because I, I, i'm not gonna lie they are pretty sick at least the operators are cool but i don't know man i just don't like that you know mastery incentive for buying bundles and getting extra content that way so it is what it is i guess let me know down below your opinions on that but for some more stuff here of course we're also getting new free rewards for warzone's fourth anniversary with season three so here are the details on that available on wednesday april 3rd uh so again they say on march 10th warzone celebrated an incredible four-year anniversary milestone whether you were here in verdansk on day one or you just jumped into the action with call of duty warzone mobile or you're planning your rebirth day drops for season three the team at call of duty sincerely thanks you for your time across all the incredible maps and modes click here to revisit the top memories from warzone's history and log into mw3 or warzone on april 3rd to receive a free gift a selection of 12 stickers designed by raven peel and place the caldera shores fortunes keep gore dam live respawn repeat oasis open air market paradisum rebirth island the palace urzikstan rail verdansk arena and vondel on any weapon of your choosing or bring out the well-traveled mcw weapon blueprint if you want a weapon completely covered in stickers already so solid stuff there you're getting that main weapon blueprint which looks pretty cool honestly and then all the separate stickers as well you can use and put on any weapon in the game so cool stuff there and i'll break down all the free rewards you can get for season three there's a lot of stuff happening here with new events different drops like like bees here different stuff with warzone mobile skins being brought over into mw3 and warzone as well there's a ton of new ranked play skins a lot of stuff happening so we'll break that all down when that does drop next week we'll get more leaks about this stuff as well so as you guys know there's always tons of leaks here and around early next week or right when the update goes live wherever that patch is available for leakers they're going to be able to find so many new upcoming free rewards for this game for not just season three's launch but for season three reloaded as well Hopefully we get some cool stuff there. Hopefully we get more free operator skins. They've been getting better with that type of stuff in recent months. But, you know, hopefully they continue to give us just decent content. The Soap the Hawk Operator skin is one of the main ones we've been looking forward to. Uh, obviously, they've been teasing it in so many different trailers. I think now is the time to finally just drop it as a free Operator reward for a daily login event, for a random update, a random event, whatever they want to do. As long as they drop it in for free, at some point very soon, I feel like most people would be pretty happy and satisfied with that. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'll be sure to update you guys once we get more information on that. But for now, be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to YouTube members as always. Always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.